Hi guys, Graham here again from Baybridge Technology, your leaders in power products, and it's always better with Baytech. Um, just a couple of little videos I'm going to be doing uh, over the next uh, month or so, just on little quick uh, tips and tricks, uh, and also um, getting the best out of your power systems and the situation in your vehicle, boat, uh, caravan, whatever. The number one thing I always pack, whether it's on the way in my caravan, going out in my boat, uh, and in, in the four-wheel drive, and they can be fairly expensive uh, to buy, but I just buy fairly cheap ones for this purpose and just have one in each. And that's just a cheap little millimeter, something that's like $25, but you would be surprised how much money you can and will save you, and all you need to do is know the basics. At the end of the day, this, this this little cheapie is really, really good. I actually think I bought this one from Aldi for about $19 or $20. Because it's so easy to use, because it literally has 1.5 volt, 6 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt uh, for DC to DC. So obviously 12 volt system. Switch it straight to 12 volt and you're there. A lot of the dearer ones don't have that because they're generally used by people working within the industry. So they know that, you know, the symbol for AC, the symbol for DC, which is DC is usually the wavy line with the little dots underneath in it as well. Um, so anyway, but yeah, just quickly, simply put it to 12 volt and then just use it. So if you're having an issue with your batteries, I mean, first thing to do is check the voltage at your battery. Now, a lot of the times it can be simple, uh, simply bad connections. Um, if you've got a certain voltage on one side of a connection and a lower connect voltage on the other side, there's, you know, that a lot of times explains why your chargers aren't charging, your batteries aren't getting charged. I had an example last week with a customer with a brand new van, it was only two weeks old, they went away on the trip and they have DC charging, they have AC charging and they have solar charging. Not one of those over the three days that they were away could keep the battery anywhere near its capacity or even up to its capacity. Driving for four hours, they put like 2% of power into their batteries. They had gone through, taken it back to the van place, they went through it all and they said, oh no, all the settings are good, everything's fine on here. The one thing that they didn't check is this device here, which is your battery isolator. And on the back of your battery isolator, you have three screws. Generally, you have your one for your power coming in and the two positions of where you want to, to go to or isolate. They were just like finger tight, exactly like that. They'd been put on, been done a finger tight, put on there. So when he actually checked, I got him to get his multimeter and check the voltage going into from the battery board. He had 14.2 volts going in there, which basically nearly much, pretty much indicates a full charge from, um, from your battery charger set for lithium there was only 13.2 volts on the other side because there was hardly any connection. So therefore then there was no current being able to get through there to the batteries. So a simple little thing like that. And they basically cut their trip short by a week because they couldn't sustain power. Um, it, even when they went to a caravan park and plugged into 240 volt, they could run their 240 volt appliances. But as we know, a lot of stuff in the van still need 12 volt lights, pumps, switches, all those sorts of things. Um, so there, so something so simple, $25, literally fixed that up in a phone call um, after we sort of, you know, went through our process of elimination. So getting to have a, a multimeter and being able to use it is the easiest way to do it. As I said, it will quickly diagnose whether you've got a blown fuse, whether you've got a connection, but rather than just a test light, which yes, yes, if, even if you've only got a test light, at least you know where you've got a circuit is actually still going and it's not blown. But the, the cheap multimeter will actually give you a voltage reading as well. Uh, and a lot of problems that we see in vehicles and in vans comes down to voltage drop, um, which is a, another video altogether. But for this one, my tip and trick is carry a multimeter with you whenever you go, wherever you go, keep one in your car, keep one in your van, or keep one in your boat. Uh, don't go out in your caravan and think, oh geez, I left my multimeter, I was using it in the shed, or I have it in my boat, or I was doing something else, or whatever, and you haven't got it there. Keep one in each vehicle, and you'll always have it. So that's my tip for this week. So until next week, bye for now.